Hey there, this is Elizabeth from Gabriel Family Adventures, and today I'm going to share a review with you all of the Paradisas Hotel in Los Cabos, Mexico. And we just got back from a trip there for spring break, and we went, we booked it last minute, we tagged along with some friends of ours. And so all together there were four families, 15 people, including seven children. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of background about um, the good things that we really liked about the hotel, some things that were a little bit in the middle, and then some things that we didn't necessarily care for and maybe you should look out for. Hey guys, where are we? Back to home. Um, just a little fair warning. Um, my husband and I and even our children have been to a lot of all-inclusives, so some of the information in here might be a tiny bit nitpicky, but it's just because we have a lot to compare it to. So if you're trying to make an informed decision about whether or not you should stay at the Paradisus Los Cabos or somewhere else, then just know that going into it, okay? Um, another thing is if you want to subscribe to this channel, we have a lot of adventures booked for 2019 and 2020, so there'll be a lot more reviews in the future of different cruises and weekend adventures and things like that, so definitely subscribe below. And let's get started. All right, so an all-inclusive in general is always a great idea if you're traveling with kids and especially if you're traveling in big groups. And we've, we even had an all-inclusive for our wedding because it's just a great way for everyone to be able to kind of get what they want and you don't really have to stress, you know, cooking, cleaning, and things like that. So Paradisus Los Cabos, I would say, is right in the middle of, you know, kind of what to expect. And when we booked this trip, um, we almost didn't book it because we were looking at flights separately from the resort itself and flying from Colorado, even though there's a lot of direct flights straight to Los Cabos, it's about a three hour flight, a little under, um, because it was spring break week, because it was kind of last minute, the tickets were incredibly expensive. So we did some hunting and we actually found our trip on Costco vacations and I was shocked at how much money we saved as a bundled package. We were able to get a nonstop flight to Los Cabos and then we did have one layover on the way home. But by using Costco vacations instead of booking separately, we were able to save approximately $2,500. I was, again, I was shocked. So I recommend whatever resort you're looking at, um, from here on out, I am a true believer in checking Costco and Cheap Caribbean first to see if you can bundle something together and get a good deal because I was just flabbergasted at the savings. So that's something to think about. Now, what did we like about Paradisis? Um, there was a couple things that really stood out to us. The grounds are beautiful. It's about halfway from the airport to Los Cabos, so kind of along that long corridor along the ocean. And it's really stunning. The beach is beautiful. It's a little rocky, so definitely bring some water shoes because it's not that super soft sand that you might find somewhere else. But the beach was beautiful, the grounds were beautiful, very clean, well kept. There were constantly groundskeepers, you know, trimming the trees and things like that. So um, the resort itself is gorgeous. It's also not very big. And that was great for our big group because we were able to find each other very easily. And even though the three other families were all in one building and we were in a different building. It was really easy to kind of hook up and you know, they have Wi-Fi, so you can text or use WhatsApp and communicate very easily throughout the entire resort. Um, they do have a gym facility, which is okay. Um, definitely gets the job done. I only exercised two days of our trip, but two is better than zero. Um, the other things I enjoyed, they are a straw-free resort. 
and except for if you get uh, you can request a straw but it's a paper straw and my daughter's really into saving sea turtles and sea life and so I do like that they're trying to be a little more environmentally conscientious and the cups that they use the plastic cups around the pool they reuse those they wash those so it felt like you know there wasn't just a bunch of plastic stuff all over the place so I enjoyed that the pool chairs themselves, I do like a good pool chair, and they were the nice kind of medium cushiony ones, not the big luxury ones that you might find at some of the higher end resorts, uh, but they were a heck of a lot better than you know the, your typical metal pool chair. They did have some cabanas and things like that. So if you upgrade your stay to something called the Royal Service, then they actually have a separate pool that has a lot more shade and some swim out areas if you wanted to have a swim out take from your hotel room. We didn't do the Royal Service. It wasn't even an option because we booked so last minute, um, but it did look really nice. Um, kind of a little luxurious upgrade if you wanted that sort of thing. The other thing that we really liked and we didn't think we would even take advantage of was the fact that the kids club was open until 11 p.m. Now we were coming from mountain time and during the school year our kids go to bed around 7 30 or 8 o'clock so we thought there's no way our kids are going to be staying up till 11 p.m. you know Pacific Coast time. Well they did because they were ready to party and they're with all their friends. So what we did a few nights was that we took the kids to the buffet and the buffet food really got the job done in a very quick and easy way for the kids. And so we would feed them, they had a lot of options. It, it's not a huge area for dinner at the buffet, but it was kind of perfect. It was exactly what you need to have your kids well fed with a few good options, some yummy desserts. They even had a little serve your own ice cream. And then they went to the kids club, played games. There was a bunch of dancing, they showed movies. And then the grown ups got to go have dinner just us. Well, it was actually just us and our friends who, who had a two and a half year old. So he was our little mascot who came along with us, but he's the easiest guy on the planet. So it was fine. Um, so I really like that. The kids club isn't big. It's two stories and it's separated so that if you're eight or older, there's actually an upstairs area that has more video games and stuff like that. So I liked that the kids were separated by age a little bit because the little ones can sometimes get overwhelmed if there's a bunch of big kids around. Um, but again, it's not huge. It wasn't, you know, the most amazing kids club I've ever seen, but it definitely got the job done and I appreciated having it for sure. Now, some things that are kind of in the middle. The food was good. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't the best food at an all-inclusive I've ever had, um, but it was fine and we went our last night there, we actually went to the Market Grill and they were serving some more traditional South American dishes, which were really delicious. So it's not just Mexican food or, you know, sometimes you go to uh, an all-inclusive in Mexico and you kind of have your Asian fusion, Mexican and Italian, and that's it. Um, so they did have a few more options from Latin America, which I did really enjoy. The Asian fusion restaurant wasn't just sushi. Um, you know, it had some Vietnamese spring rolls and things like that. So I enjoyed the options. Um, they had several different places you could go to for breakfast. What I recommend is actually going to the Gabby restaurant and not the main buffet inside of the hotel. And here's why. The Gabby restaurant is right on the water and it's gorgeous. It's picturesque, such a great view. And also not as many people go there for breakfast. So you can sit there with this incredible view and not actually have to wait very long, you know, at your omelet station, for example. So I would walk down there for breakfast. Um, our room was located, it was 4210 was the room number. It was actually on the ground level, closer to the Gabby restaurant. It was kind of in the middle of the main hotel and the pool in the Gabby restaurant. And I thought it was a great location. So if you're gonna kind of have the lowest level of the garden view, which is what you get when you book last minute, um, that was a great spot because you could just walk out and you have access to almost everything. Um, I would recommend just walk on down there for breakfast. Now, 
Getting to the stuff that we were a little frustrated with, uh, one of the things that I found very frustrating is that depending on which staff member you spoke to, you got very different answers and different service. And that was frustrating because you could ask, you know, one individual, I the first day we went there, we went to breakfast, I asked for a latte and they brought it and it was great. And then the next day we went there for breakfast and I asked for a latte and they said, we don't serve that here. And then a table, a couple tables away, I saw them walking up with this super yummy looking latte. Um, so that was frustrating. And some of the friends we traveled with are actually fluent in Spanish and it really didn't matter what language you spoke, the service was still incredibly inconsistent. Um, we would get these mixed messages, like some people said we couldn't order food at the pool. And then we would walk over to the restaurant to order lunch and they said, oh, well, if you want a burger, you have to get that at the pool. We said, well, the guys at the pool said we couldn't order that. Um, so that was difficult. And it seemed like there weren't enough people working at the hotel. And I don't know if it was because it was spring break and it was just really crowded or if they're understaffed, but your wait time for any kind of service is a really long time. Um, you know, now most of the servers were very polite, but the inconsistencies were quite frustrating. Um, and then sometimes even when you would order, say for dinner or if you were doing a sit down lunch, the time it took to receive even a beverage could sometimes be 15 to 20 minutes or longer. So our dinners were typically, unless we went to the buffet, they were two hours or more. But if you're trying to feed your kids after they've been swimming for four hours and they're starving, it's, it's a really long wait for anything. So that was more than frustrating. Um, I just, I wasn't sure if it was a cost saving practice by the hotel to just not staff. And you know, I was kind of thinking because the beverage service around the pool was incredibly slow. Although I did notice there was one very attractive group of young women who just kept getting drinks really fast. Interesting. All us moms weren't so lucky. <laughs> um, the other thing that was very frustrating was the fact that there were so few beach and pool chairs that you couldn't get a chair if you woke up at any kind of reasonable hour. So uh, one of our friends that we traveled with wakes up very early in the morning, thankfully. And so he went out around 5.30 a.m. every day or sometimes even slightly earlier. And he still had a hard time getting pool chairs most days that he would only be able to block off maybe four chairs for all 15 of us and that was it and so what was difficult is that because there were so few chairs what most people did like us is you took a couple chairs and then you just had your stuff there all day even if you went back to the room you went to the beach you kind of held your chair because if you didn't you were out of luck Whereas if you're at a resort that has tons of chairs, you come out, you use a couple chairs when you're using them, and then you leave and you take your stuff and you open it up for another family. But that wasn't even an option. The only time the pool chairs opened up was around maybe four o'clock in the afternoon when everyone was going in to start showering and getting ready to go out to dinner and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is that one of the things that's advertised online is that you get these resort credits and some resorts, I know for the Hard Rock, for example, it's kind of unlimited resort credits where you can use them for massages and for kind of whatever you want. The Paradisus, you get a coupon book and it's very limited. It's, you know, $10 off of a bottle of wine. Well, you're an all inclusive, so you're probably not really upgrading your wine that often anyways. Um, you know, $20 off of a massage, but the massages are over $100 and I can walk to the beach and get one for 40 bucks. So we actually only ended up using one of the little coupons in our coupon book that, you know, hundreds of dollars in savings. Well, we saved like $25 on one excursion. So it goes. But 
Um, you know, don't book the resort thinking you're going to be able to use all of those resort credits for some, you know, amazing, incredible experiences because you probably just won't. So those were some of the things that I felt like were drawbacks. Now, something that the Paradisus did that I only learned about the second to last day that was kind of a fun surprise is that, so in your room, there's a, um, little tiny refrigerator that has drinks for grown-ups and kids. Um, and then there's a great coffee maker. It's the Nespresso, so it's super delicious. But they had a little piece of paper that I just happened to put my stuff on top of, so I didn't notice right away. But it said, if you want any of these snacks, they had chips, M&Ms, all this stuff, um, just call zero and they'll bring them to your room. And you could bring, you can ask for as much as you want. So if you want some yummy snacks for your kids or for yourself, that's an option. So you don't even have to go down to, you know, they do have a little coffee shop on site and, you know, lots of options. But if you just want something to munch on in the room, dial zero and they'll send it to your room. Don't ask for it at the pool because they're not going to give you anything at the pool because the service is so slow and inconsistent. Um, but that was kind of a fun little surprise that I wish I had known about on the first day. Although maybe it was a blessing in disguise because then I didn't eat M&Ms every day for the entire week. <laughs> um, so overall, would we stay at the Paradisus again? Definitely not the one in Los Cabos. Um, for the sake of the pool chairs alone, I mean, it was so stressful trying to figure out like, where are we gonna be? And you know, honestly, if we didn't have our friend helping us find pool chairs, we would have been completely out of luck. So I don't think we would stay there again. Uh, we might be open to staying at a Paradisus maybe um, on the other side of Mexico in Cancun because it's a lot bigger. So, um, you know, maybe those issues won't be as present, but the really, really slow service, the inconsistency in the messages with the staff members and the difficulty with the pool chairs made it so that we're not, we're probably not gonna go back there again. Now, there's a distinct possibility that a lot of those issues aren't issues if you go during the low season. So if you go in the summer when it's really hot, um, maybe you'll have excellent service. We did have two of our friends, one family, stay two extra days. So kind of going into the school week, so most um, schools were back in session besides the ones who have spring break in April. So the March spring breakers, pretty much everyone was home. So they had two extra days. And they said that it was really easy to get a pool chair, but they said the service was still super slow. And they tried to get a reservation at one of the restaurants for dinner and they said, oh, well, there's no room. And they looked inside the restaurant and there were two tables being used. Everything else was empty. So they, that seemed weird. And that kind of speaks to that kind of inconsistency as well. So these are some things to be mindful of. That if you can get a good price, if you know there's some super sale at the Paradisus, know that there are some good qualities to it as well. Again, the location is lovely, the food is decent. Um, you know, Los Cabos is such an easy place to get to for a lot of people in the United States. So if you can get a heck of a deal on the resort, it's worth it. And with us traveling with 15 people, um, we had a great time. It was a wonderful week, but I do think that there are other options for resorts where you get a little more bang for your buck. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put those below and subscribe to this channel for more reviews in the future. See you later.